What is on my Macintosh computer for August 2017? That video is coming up right now. Let's go. Yo, what is up, guys? Nick here helping you to master your technology and welcome to what's on my Macintosh computer for the year of 2017 August now this is a new style of video where we're gonna be doing a voiceover screen recording and if you guys like this style go ahead and thumbs it up down below I'm showing you hands-on in person what I use here on my Macintosh so you can see right away I do have the Yosemite wallpaper I believe this is Yosemite 3 let's go to the Apple logo let's hit system preferences and let's go over here into desktop and screensaver and we're gonna see yes the Yosemite 3 wallpaper so if you are using your Macintosh computer just locate Yosemite 3 or you can search it right there and that is what I'm using here now on my dock I do keep the finder down here and you can see Siri calculator calendar and launchpad now all of these applications right here are just you know stock basic app apps but the stuff I have installed is definitely Google Chrome so Google Chrome is a must for me due to the fact that I do have all my bookmarks imported from other you know laptop PCs as well as my smartphone so Google Chrome is an absolute must with its extensions I really love it I got applications like light shot here where I can go ahead and take screenshots of any website and stuff like that vidIQ and TubeBuddy which are great extensions for youtubers alike so I have have to have Chrome on any PC or Macintosh computer that I do use. Now I'm actually recording this voiceover on the Audio-Technica ATR2100 USB microphone on Audacity over here on this desktop. And as you can see, I do have the Mac Sierra wallpaper here on my second desktop. So you can have different wallpapers for different desktops. I have the El Capitan wallpaper on here. But yeah, like I say, I'm recording this right here on Audacity. I don't have no need to use Adobe Edition or anything like that. Nothing fancy. Audacity does the trick for me. Now, I do have pages here on the dock, and this is the largest the dock actually will go here on my Macintosh computer. Now, this display here that you're actually seeing this on is actually a widescreen LG monitor. So if it looks a little bit wide on the video, that's why it looks like that. So Android file transfer is an absolute must. It's not gonna show here because I don't have an Android hooked up here, but this is definitely a must for me because I do transfer and use Android phones for video sometimes. So I have to have that to transfer over files. Now, Wonderlist, I do show this a lot of times on my, I would say what's on my iPhone videos, but you can see right here, you can do go ahead and write lists here, and it does cross between PC, Macintosh computer, as well as I would say uh, Android phones and Apple phones. So definitely gotta have this here. This is my go-to list application, and check it out if you're interested. It is Wonderlist. So let me go ahead and close this other tab out here and check out some other stuff. So CC Cleaner, I also have installed here by Pureform. You can download this off the internet. Just type in CC Cleaner and download the latest version. But you can see I have the Mac. MacBook Pro Intel Core i7 2.20 gigahertz 16 gigs of RAM this thing is an absolute beast and this guy right here allows me to analyze files and what this does is basically clean up your Safari your internet cache your history cookies download history sessions trash all that garbage out of your Macintosh computer and it really works it makes things a little bit funner I'm not gonna clean it here because I don't want anything stopping right here like my audacity or anything for example but that's what that does there now I do have Evernote, I'm not gonna open it up, that's personal, but Evernote I have to sync between my Android phone, Apple phone, as well as Macintosh. So photos, messages, just some basic stuff here. And then I do have the Spotify application, which I love to listen to my music on. Gotta do this guy right here. This guy is just definitely the best music application for I think any device right now for streaming. So streaming is good there. Let me go ahead and force quit this guy out of here because that's annoying me right there. So I got iMovie. Go to editor. So you're going to see a little bit of my projects right here. So you can see I was working on a project earlier. And this is definitely the go to editor for my videos right now. iMovie, I will be upgrading to Final Cut Pro, but I just got into the Mac ecosystem. So I do want to really learn how to, you know, master this guy first before I go ahead and do Final Cut Pro. But that's going to be coming soon. I will be hopping over to Final Cut. But for, for now, iMovie gets the job done. There's actually quite a bit of features. You just got to learn how to use it. Now, VLC is a definite must for the Mac if you want to have a great, easy to use media player this is like after you want to view your photos and videos after it's rendered and stuff like that so hopping into my mission control where you're gonna find 
basically this tabbed view of applications kind of like an app drawer in Android and Windows got a lot of flack for their tile system but they got rid of that but here in my mission control you can see I do have a lot of the basic Apple applications so I'm not going to talk too much about those pretty much those all come on the Macintosh no matter what Mac you have but I did install Geekbench here for testing the max power so it does pretty well here on the it is in tryout mode it does pretty well in terms of performance like I say I got the base model 44 4770 HQ so it's a quad core processor this is a fourth gen so it's not the latest and greatest but it's definitely a beast enough for what I need so Geekbench is gonna allow me to test and see how my thing is performing or my computer here so Magnet is a great application. If you go ahead and enable it, you can see right up here in the right-hand corner, you can see my arrow pointing up. This guy is going to allow you to knock applications right and left real easily here on your computer, no problem. So you can just kind of take the application and you could drag it without actually having to use the corner to do the regular split screen like you would do on Apple. So Apple split screen is like so. So we go like that, you can see we do get Apple split screen. But for this application right here, Magnet, I do go ahead and go like this and I could put it basically wherever I want. And that's pretty productive if you ask me. It's a pretty productive application. So I did, I think I paid 99 cents for this app. So it's not a free application, but it still gets the job done here. Now, like I said, I already mentioned Audacity, so I'm not gonna talk too much about that. I do have Google Play and Movies and TV on here. And I did talk about Android file transfer, so that works as well. So let's go into the next page where I do have a few more applications. I do have Pocket for reading articles that I do read and save on my Android phone. I can read it later on my Macintosh display. Over here under Logitech Options, this is for my MX Master mouse. I will leave a link to this mouse down below. It's one of the most ergonomic, amazing mouses you can buy. You can actually set presets for this mouse and you know buttons for whatever you want the Macintosh to do. So I got the desktop and look at all these options. You can basically tell this mouse to do whatever you want it to. It does take battery charge so it does last about a month on a charge so I have no issue with battery life but definitely check out the MX Master mouse it's a great application that comes with it and it's a great mouse a lot of people will trash it for its scroll wheel I have no problem with its scroll wheel issues so you can see mega sync that's for downloading internet files a RAR extractor light for you know extracting RAR files and Adobe Accurate Reader and I also have Dr. Cleaner you can see right here this is gonna go ahead and clean my Macintosh so I really do like cleaning it up you know from time to time it makes it run smoother and this is one of the best applications I could recommend to you guys if you want to have an easy free to use uh, cleaner for your Macintosh computer so that's great right there and finally VLC I think I talked about that one so that's pretty much useless right there to talk about that again but anyway that's pretty much what I rock out right now on my Macintosh computer I mean not much I'm not a heavy application user I like to keep things simple and keep things you know very efficient and productive so I can continue to make videos without getting distracted by a lot of applications and forgot to mention this battery health application this is just an app that tells me the battery health of the computer and stuff like that but I don't like to keep it too heavy I want this guy to be very simple and smooth and not have too much overloading me I mean I already have a lot of phones that I'm working on so that's pretty much what is on my Macintosh computer now I will be continuing Macintosh computer videos I'm gonna do a should you buy video as well but let me know if you guys like this style of video where I show you an actual screen recording with a voiceover video this kind of style let me know if you like this down below in the comment section of this video and this was Nick here helping you to master your technology I will catch you all in the next episode be sure to be well and peace.